So let's get right to our game review. The other team's quarterback must go down. And he must go down hard. Now this is our game review. We always start on our defensive side of the ball. So let's get to the first key of the game. And I was looking at this front four, this defensive line. I wanted to see at least four sacks, 10 quarterback hits, and at least one turnover. I was thinking a strip sack or forcing Herbert into an interception due to pressure. What actually happened was we had no sacks. We had three quarterback hits and no turnovers. I got to give that an F. Now, I know Crosby played his heart out, but he did not get a sack. It was not good enough. The pressure wasn't there. Chandler Jones, more times than not, uh, Rashawn Slater kind of owned him in the game. That was a little disturbing, to be honest with you. You didn't see a whole lot of pressure there. I saw mostly Crosby. I saw some blitzing a little bit. I saw Bilal Nichols in there inside. They played well as far as stopping the run. This key to the game was mainly directed at the pass rush and getting to Justin Herbert. Of course, we didn't do that. And subsequently, he went 26 of 34, 279 yards and three touchdowns. And I can't do anything but give an F grade for this performance on, on this key of the game. And my second one was Austin Eckler. Historically, this guy has kind of carved us up both in the rushing and receiving game. And my goal was to keep him under 100 yards, under two touchdowns. And we actually did that. He was only 14 of 36, rushing the ball, 72 total all-purpose yards. I got to give that an A, but also they didn't really need the running game because the passing game was there. Again, we did not do a good enough job getting to Herbert isolating him, keeping him in the pocket. He, did, he tried to run a couple times, didn't get much with that. I think the running side of the ball looks solid for us on the defense, but the pass rush just wasn't there. Here's some examples right here where we were kind of stopping the run game here. They did all kinds of things inside, outside. They really couldn't get a running game established, but overall they didn't really need it. But I'm gonna give our defense overall a C plus. Now, they gave up 24 points, but 17 of those were in the first half. They only gave up 7 points in the second half. Kept the Raiders in this ball game. They're down by 10 points at the half. Gave the offense several chances to win this game. We just couldn't get it done. What's next up for the channel? What we're going to be doing? And that's going to be our game preview. Raiders hosting the Cardinals, our first home game at Allegiant Stadium this year. We got Kyler Murray in the group who got destroyed by the Chiefs last week. We'll talk a little bit about that game that Friday. And I'm going to give my four keys to the game on that as well. Two on offense and two on defense. Join us. We'll be here at Friday at 6 p.m. I hear everyone say, take what they give you. We're going to take what we want. Now on the offensive side of the ball, you know, honestly, that was the main problem in this game overall. My first key to the game was this right side, and I was expecting less than four quarterback hits and zero sacks. Now, in actuality, as a team, that's why Panasaurus there, we had nine quarterback hits on Carr and six sacks. Now, I'm going to give this a C- minus because I'm going to attribute two sacks to this side of the ball. Now, uh, the rest were on the left side of the ball. There was some blitzing, a very poor blocking scheme on Josh Jacobs in the first quarter. A lot of coverage sacks, too. Uh, that goes on Carr. He needs, to, he needs to get rid of the ball quicker, especially later in the game. A couple of those Khalil Max uh, sacks were attributed to that. I mean, you're only going to get three, four, five seconds at most. That's all you're going to get in the National Football League. And I think the Carr held on the ball a little bit too long. Some of the balls were a little errant. And I know Devontae Adams is his new toy. He got 10 catches, 17 targets, 141 yards and a touchdown. But he's got to spread the ball out a little bit more for us to be a little more successful. I didn't see any huge disparaging performances like we saw with Brandon Parker. Not to say it was great, but overall I think there was a little bit more going on than just the right side of the ball as far as the offensive line concerns go. Now my second key to the game was this running game. Now I fully expected that this team would actually run the ball more, try to keep Herbert in that offense off the field, control the clock. I thought that's why we got Zemir White. I thought that's why we got Britton Brown. So we would always have a fresh running back in there between the tackles that we can pound, get those tough yards. And I was looking for 150 total rushing yards among those guys, those three guys. And what we actually got was 57, paltry 57 yards. I know, only 10 carries, 64 total combined yards. And 
I got to give this an F. I think Josh Jacobs thought he was kind of lollygagging it. Second half, he played a little bit better, to be honest with you. I'll give him those. He, he pushed a little bit harder, especially when the team got a, a behind a couple scores trying to get back into this game. But you got to play a full four quarters. And not only that, I'll, that part is Josh Jacobs' responsibility. Then I, I got to level this at Josh McDaniels. Why are we passing so much against this team when it was basically even through about a first quarter and a half? Why weren't we pounding the ball more, testing this interior defensive line? Like I said, they got some new free agents. They did do a little bit better job stopping the run than they did last season, but still, it wasn't enough for me to, to abandon the running game. They waited and waited, and then, you know, of course, we had the three turnovers in this game with Carr, and we dug ourselves a hole, and then we basically had no choice but to, to pass just about every down. So overall, I'm going to give the offense a D. I would give Carr an F in this grade. I think overall the offense was a D. There was there was flashes. And frankly, a lot of it has to do with this guy right here, Josh McDaniels. I'm really kind of questioning. I was really wondering because our starters did not play one single down in the preseason. We didn't really know what we had. And then you play a team like the Chargers, an above average playoff type team. And you could kind of see it was a little bit rusty. Carr was a little rusty out there. A couple balls definitely were bad on him as far as those interceptions. Then you had the throw behind Waller. That should have been an easy touchdown. He beat his guy. We had to settle for a field goal there. I think it would have served us well to at least played a couple series on that last game against New England. That's what I thought was going to happen. It did not happen. And it kind of showed. When you have great coaches... Then after you have great coaches, you get great players, you have a great organization, and you tell them one thing, just win, David. <laughs>